Hello everybody, this is Tiny Green from the Hoop Group here today. You know, usually when people open my blog, the first thing they think is they're going to see something about girls basketball. Well, you want to know what? I'm sitting next to the guy that made me decide that I no longer am just going to cover girls. I want to do some boy stuff. And you know why? This guy is the reason. Two years ago, I met Jack. Thin little guy, playing a little basketball. He was at CBA. He left CBA to go to Rumson. He decided to follow his old, his old middle school coach over to Rumson, Fairhaven, and play basketball there. At the time, we discussed a couple of things. He said, hey, Tiny, you know, what do I need to do to become a better player? And you know the hoop group, for better or worse, this is the home of the best basketball players and high school basketball in the country. There is no organization that has a better feel or hold on high school boys basketball. I don't have to mention the names. I'm looking up at the banners behind me, Kobe Bryant, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Cole, uh, Chris Paul, Ron Artest. I mean, look, every great player has set foot in a hoop group event at some time. Well, this young man wanted to know what he needed to do. I spoke to a couple of my hoop group friends and they said, hey, get a little stronger, you know, do a couple of things like that. Jack, you've done every one of those things. Thank you. Tell me what made you make this total transformation, first of all, in your body. We're gonna to get to other things later. Tell me how your body has changed so dramatically since the first time I met you. Well, over the course of AAU and the season, um, I really played against one of the best players, some of the best players in the country. They were much stronger, faster than me. So I promised myself I'd work every day to try to get myself stronger, quicker, faster, better conditioned. So, well, you know, did you ever think that you would lead the shore in threes? I mean, you think of the players in the shore and the shooters. You led the entire shore in threes. I really worked hard. I mean, on my shot, everything. Um, I really conditioned my legs uh, to allow me to make all those threes. Um, How much did Randy Foy help you? Most of you may not know, but Jack here works with Randy Foy on a regular basis at the Clippers. Former Villanova guy, played with one, one of my best friends in the business, Freddie Hill. Tell me about that. It was a great opportunity. He's one of the main reasons I'm here right now. Um, he's really helped me improve 20-fold. Uh, it's just he's tougher than me, faster than me. I got to guard him every day. I've just learned a lot from him. You know, and, and thinking about that, I'm, you know, you made all the vision last year by the by the by the writers and by the by the coaches. And I know, you know, we don't like to talk about personal goals during the season, but that's got to be satisfying, Jack. Oh, it was very satisfying. I was honored to get it. Um, but I'm more focused on our team and how we finish during the season. So hopefully, I mean, we got to the state, uh, short conference final last year. Hopefully we can either win that this year. Uh, state championship would also be a bonus. Nice. Now, you know, um, I was a college Division One coach for 25 years. I also coached Division Two and Division Three early in my career. And let me tell you something, it's not easy playing college basketball at any level. And I don't think kids understand that, especially on the men's side. Tell me, what are your aspirations for college? I'm going to have to work really hard. I mean, I would like to go to a college program, start my freshman year. That would be great. But I really want to find the right fit for me. You know what I'm going to do? I have, an, a, I have, an, I have a, a video of you. Somebody sent me a video of you. I'm going to put that on my blog. Because I want to tell you why. As a former guy on the men's side, I always say this. Give me a kid who works hard, who can make shots, and who is relentless physically, and I'll win games with him. I think that's you. Thanks. Am I right about that? Definitely. I think that's you, man. I think that you're the kind of player, when you get to college, you become a program kid, you make that kid better, and you're going to improve every single year. Now, tell me, tell me about this season as we wrap up. Because now that I'm going to start following the guy's side, I think I'm going to start out with Rumson and you, Jack, because you're my inspiration to get back on the men's side of things and start following that more. Tell me what the goals are for the season, first for the team, and then for you. I think we'll have another strong season. I mean, hopefully a top 10 finish. We have great chemistry, uh, obviously an experienced coach. We have two returning starters, but we have three guys who were heavily involved last year. So I think we can go far. We have the potential to go far. For me, I would like to make first team all shore. That's definitely beautiful. I like that. I like that. Goals, baby. Goals. People, you need goals. Go ahead. 
But definitely the most important thing to me is a state championship because that Good stays with someone forever. Yeah, well, your women's team's got enough up on the wall. Be nice to throw one up there for the men, right? Exactly. All right. Jack, it was good finally getting a chance to sit down with you. I've always admired what you've done. I saw you about a month ago, and we got you hurt up at MBS, but that's okay. You bounced back. But I saw you a month ago, and I told your dad, I said, wow, what a transformation in a kid. And it just goes to show you, you can be anything you want if you're willing to put the time in. Jack's a great example. Didn't have the biggest profile, wasn't the most household name, but he created everything for himself through hard work and desire. Jack Donnelly, great to meet you, man. You too. Hope Thank we see you. each other again, all right? Tiny Green from the Hoop Group signing off. I forgot to